Using TDE 7294 chip, you can design a simple, powerful and high-quality amplifier for home applications. Modern powerful chip technologies help amateur designers to select the option of designing a high-quality amplifier fit for home applications. The amplifier is easy to design. The circuit has a small number of components. The amplifier requires no tuning and offers excellent sound. Let me briefly describe the chip itself. The chip belongs to class AB amplifiers. The amplifier's main feature is field effect transistors employed in preliminary and output amplification stages. The assembly has an internal short circuit protection and overheating protection. It also supports the signal attenuation function and standby mode if there is no signal at the chip input. The chip offers a substantial advantage. It can operate at voltages ranging from plus minus 10 to plus minus 40 volts at the load resistance of 4 to 8 ohms and the rated power of up to 70 watts. At low noise and distortion levels, the chip has the reproduced frequency band ranging from 20 to 20,000 hertz. In order to assemble an amplifier on your own, we recommend using the ready-to-use kit. In addition to all required components, such kit also includes a ready-to-use print board. If you consider money required to buy all components and time to etch the print board, you will become sure that a ready-to-use unsoldering kit is much more economically advantageous. For mounting you will need a soldering iron and some tools. Start with mounting of small circuit components. So we have mounted small components on the print board. Do not forget to unsolder jumpers. Otherwise, after mounting large components, you will face difficulties in finding unsoldered jumpers. Then proceed with unsoldering electrolytic capacitors and slots required at the print board. And the last thing to do is to unsolder the chip itself. After you have finished, be sure to remove residual flux from the print board. This chip must have a heat sink. We also strongly recommend mounting a fan at the hot air outlet from the heat sink. Also, you'd, be, you'd better install an additional heat conducting carrier under the chip. The best way to power an amplifier is to use a transformer power supply. Or, to be more precise, you'd better use a step-down power transformer of at least 100 watts. Such transformer should have a double secondary winding that is bipolar power supply. Each of which should have the voltage of 25 volts. Power rectifier diodes and filter capacitors preferably designed for 10,000 microfarads and 50 volts. Powerful transformers are quite expensive. To avoid expenditures, you can use obsolete household appliances whose power supplies included large power transformers. In order to use the true value of your amplifier and its characteristics, we recommend using it with a good hi-fi system. This video was filmed at the request of Alexander Voronov.